Oh my goodness. I know. Usually we're better at that. I have oh, failed. I think you're on mute, dude. I'm sorry. Um, that looks great, Michaela. I love the yellow. Um, Brooks, did you get to color it? And then Spencer, did you color it? I didn't, I didn't mention I didn't mention color pencils in the beginning. I didn't even plan on it. So I have like oh, actually I have all of these. Now I have color pencils. <clears throat> I'll try to keep the colors really simple. Should we go back and color the first one? With the pair. I mean, if you're finished coloring the one, you, I mean, why not color the first one? I make my polywog green. <clears throat> and maybe in the spirit of the peanut, peanuts can be brown and pears can be brown. So I'll make them. Yeah, green. if you hold that up, Michaela, just a little bit, I can get the third one. Can you hold that up a little higher? Whoa. And I'll make the top, I'll make this one, I'll make this dot red too. Thank you, Michaela. <clears throat> Whoa. Trevor. Yeah. Don't forget the bottom of the, um, the bottom of uh, the like feather things. Did I make it purple? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jacob. I appreciate it. <clears throat> yes, this is so fun. I did not even think about colors. I don't know why. Because there's like, they're, they're actually kind of easy. And like, I'm going to do red again. Every circle, I think I'm going to make red. <clears throat> so we've I done, like that idea, we've the done, continuity. We've done, Paris, we've done Paris twice. Wow, beautiful, Michaela. I might, maybe I'll do blue on this one too. Okay, you can go over your pencil lines. It's the colors of I'm the your English idea, Michaela. Flag. What's that? It's the colors of the England flag. Oh yeah. Ah. <clears throat> no, it's interesting because the, the oh, wait, it's an Eng English flag does it's have two. The, it's Union Jack on the top and the bottom, and then two red dots on the sides. Oh, yeah. Hey. Do you think this is the origin of, this is probably the origin of Union Jack. I mean, it could be. I don't, I don't know that for sure. We have to look in the history of it, but. It could <clears> be. It's pretty darn close. Wow, what a beautiful paper. Beautiful piece of paper. <clears throat> um, this is also England, which is funky. I don't even know if I feel like drawing these two. One is for Florence. This one, the one with the, with the griffin. Uh, the yeah. winged lion with the bird head, that's a griffin. And then I guess this is like, this one is for England too. It looks like a cow. It's, it's either a, a cow, it looks like a goat. This looks like a, some kind of horn. That's a bull. A bull. And that looks like a snake with a flower coming out of its nose. <laughs> this, is, this one is too much. This one is too much for me. Um, let's go, let's switch over to Italy. This is, this is, this uh, is I, think, I, think the Naples, I think the Naples one, this is the flower in the pot. Fine. Like, so fun. It looks too the simple. Colors are fantastic. This is what mine looks like. Oh, Mr. Nichols. I like uh, those colors. The color, the color makes such a difference. Like, yellow and... Yellow and and this color. Yellow and this color. Yellow. Nice com that's a nice combination. I feel like it's a cerulean blue or a sky blue. It's like a tealish color. It's it's teal. like yeah, yeah, I think it is teal. <clears throat> okay, so team. This one is a little bit more complicated. Um, and let's just like think it through. So I think where I'm gonna start is with the vase. Now, it's interesting with the vase because the vase is in three parts. I know it's, it doesn't seem like it's like that hard, but there's the base to the vase. Then there's like the part of the vase that holds all the water. And that's like the belly or the body of the vase. Then it goes up into the neck. And then you have the top of the vase. So the vase comes complete with a handle. So I would do the base, then make the belly or the body of the vase wider. And then it's going to pinch in at the neck 
And then from that, we can have a little bit more freedom, I think, with the, with like, with the plant that's coming out of the top, that beautiful flower. So I'm gonna make mine a clay pot. Um, so I'm gonna draw the base for first. This? What's up? What is the symbol for this? Um, this is Naples, which is a city in Italy. It's on the beach, it's on the water, I believe. Is, or is Naples in the south of France? Um, can you look up Naples, Maddie? Can you find out where Naples is? I think, I always think it's in Italy, but I think it might be the south of France. Uh, I've never, uh, Maddie's looking it up, right? Maddie, Maddie's looking it up. You could always ask. Okay. Me. Naples, Naples is in Italy. Italy. Okay, good. I've never been. Is it on the water? Is it on the Mediterranean? I think right, so it is I, on the water. I have to draw mine kind of small. Like south, north. Yeah, I guess it's southern Italy. On the water, right? Yes. Yeah, I so think it's on the water. For the foot of the boot of Italy. Yeah, so it's on the water, right? Yeah, yeah, it's on yeah. the water. Most of Italy's on the water. Let me see what year this is from, though. 1184. Okay, so this one is a little bit later. So this one is from 1436. So they still have the Europe still had not discovered America yet. Um, so this is before Columbus sailed the ocean blue. All right, so I've got the foot, which is the part that touches the table. I'm going to do a wide belly. That makes me feel good. Left side, right side. Then I'm going to pinch in and it's going to get really narrow. Not really narrow, but pretty narrow. It's got to be narrow enough to be able to hold the stem. So we'll have the neck and then we'll close off the top. And that's fun. You could, you could shade it in right now if you want, or you could wait till later. Um, I love this, the way that the stem curls up to the top and I'm just going to switch over to a, a dark green. The, the thing on the flower, it kind of looks like a fly. It yes, is. it does. Oh, it and it might be. It might be a bee. I think it might be a bee. Could it be a bee? Because I think it's going to be a pollinator. That is a bee. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Jacob says it's a bee. I think it's a bee. A little... I think even, I mean, the, bees are so important for um, you know, pollinating plants and for agriculture. So I think it's I think it's the I think it's the the seed that's in the the seed that's in the flower. I mean, oh, it could be like the pistol. There's like it could be the pollen, and it could be a couple different things. And we might have to like go we might have to Google this one too. Um, so if you look at the way that the stem if, curves, curves if, up to the top, if uh, if uh, the the seed um, yeah, uh, if if it is a seed, it's it's if it is a seed, it's too yeah. low. Stacey, you think it should be high? Oh, Where do you think it should be? Stacy, we get in the middle. Yeah. Excuse that me, Trevor? Spencer was holding up his piece, and I just wanted to get a picture. Spencer, of it. <clears throat> how did yeah, I miss that? that? So there's two ways of making leaves. I'm going to draw them on the side here. One way is doing an arc and then doing a second arc that meets tip to tip. Now, the other way, which is the way this artist does it, is by using it, two S curves. So this Okay, one's I'm waiting. This is a C curve. You can also use an S curve on both sides. So it, the, yes, they're both leaves. Yes, they both are green. And could you do it both ways? Yes, you can do it both ways. I just wanted to show you that there's that there's a C curve leaf and this. Oh, and this. hold that nice and still. Yeah, those yeah, those are probably great. Really nice. Uh, wow, well, I like how you. Uh, oh, sorry, Trevor. Okay. Keep talking, Spencer. I really like how you darkened the left side of that or maybe it's your right side of the vase 
to show that the light is coming from the opposite side. Well done. The left side. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the, um, I, and when we do other classes and some of you guys that have been on, on Saturday, you know, this, um, if there's like a simple drawing like this and you want to add things to it, um, you know, please, like if you wanted to add a second flower or more leaves, or if you wanted to add a pattern, I mean, you could add a beautiful pattern to the side of the pot. Um, I draw, I draw a little bit slow. So, um, and then I, I try to make sure everybody can sketch, you know, Jacob draws really fast and no one likes to draw really fast. Lassia draws really fast. And Stacy so, does not. And Stacy draws really fast. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. And, and it has not, and there's no benefit, there's no benefit really to going fast or slow. Um, Cause in the end, it, it can only work you know, with how much energy you have. So it's more like an energy level thing. So anyway, um, so have fun. I see one, two, three, four, five petals. Um, you don't have to stick with it, but it's, it's kind of funny because the squiggle in the stem is a lot like the squiggle in the leaf, believe it or not. So in the petals of the flower, it's curved out and then it S curves in, then it curves out and then it curves in and then it curves out again and then it curves in again, and it curves out again, in again, out again. And then, so it's not like sometimes when you get petals, um, you know, it's not curvy on the inside, but it's both okay. curvy on the inside and on the outside. Oh, Michaela, hold that nice and still. That's great, Michaela. Very nice, very nice. So if you were in Europe in 1435 and you saw this, um, you would know that this paper that you were looking at um, came from Naples. And I imagine that the trees in the different parts of the, in the different regions, you know, made slightly different paper and the craftsmen that make the paper um, also have, um, you know, it's, it's basically, they're signing it. They're saying that this, this is, the paper from uh forgot can we make origamis next year yeah oh. um, we're gonna do origami this summer at art camp so if you guys are like eight or nine you can probably sign up for art camp um and we'll do origami more probably more in person i know we're i don't like to be able to go to art camp because i'm gonna be in maine this summer that's great <gasps> it'll be fun spencer we're gonna like do our camp. By the way, this class still runs in the summer. So if you're in Maine or if you're in California, you can still take this class. Okay, yeah, Michaela, I'm listening. I, I made an origami cicada. Um, the cicadas are coming out and they have red eyes. So <laughs> I made this. Oh my gosh. That's really nice. I can do origami really, really well. Yeah, I can tell. Um, yeah, I nice one. Who is that up there? I can't do origami very well. Nolan, holy crap, Nolan. That's oh, Mr. Nolan, hold that up. Yeah, you're, you're warmed up. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. Uh, okay. So, Torita, uh, should we try this other flower one? This other flower one's kind of funny. I don't know if it's, I know, I know it's like serious, but I'm, I'm also trying to figure out what it might mean. So I want to do the crown. We'll do, the, we'll do the crown one next. The crown one's uh, a little bit on the harder side. This one, it, where's that from? From Mana, where's that? Oh, hold on. Hold that back toward you, Spencer. Just a little, yeah, 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 yeah. And freeze it. Ah, I like that frame. I went through, I went through 49, Page 49 pages, I think. <laughs> That's that is that is a lot of work. That's a lot of pages. There's a lot of art. There. Oh, I keep hold on guys, I gotta cut my oh this is so exciting. I don't think I've even asked. What? Are any of you signed up for art for camp? Mm. I don't think I am. Okay. I didn't. I did. Um, yeah. Well, this class, this class, 
I mean, you guys might be. The cutoff is like eight years old. So if you're not eight. Ah. Um, you did say that, Trevor. I'm nine. I'm turning nine on June first. I'm 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 nine. I'm six. I have a birthday coming up. I'm seven. I'm six. <laughs> I'm forty-one. I'm hey, my dad's above. that age. <laughs> I know. That's good. Um. All right. So should we try? Should we try this one? Um, <laughs> I'm done with this one. Think, I I think this looks like a helmet. Do you think you are? Can you guys play lacrosse? Jacob, did you? Have you seen a lacrosse helmet? This reminds me of like the front. Hi, Jacob. Here we go. I'm gonna draw a circle. I'm gonna gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the pot that I made. All right. So I did a circle. It looks like it had like hair on the top of the head. And then I'm taking a section out of the circle. Uh, it looks like a piece of pie. Like a piece of uh, blueberry pie. Uh, excuse me, Trevor? Oh, whoa, Jacob. Hold that a little bit uh, closer to you, Jacob. Yep, yeah, right there. Jacob. And. Oh, Jacob, that's beautiful. Jacob, what is it? Okay, well, it's our vase. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Are you going to finish the flower on top of the leaves? <clears throat> I did. Oh, can you hold it up again? I missed it. How did I miss that, Jacob? I'm done too. Yeah, get McKay. We get make a picture wow. of Michaela. Yes, Jacob, that's terrific. That's terrific. It's just not as dark. That's why I didn't see it at first. Michaela. All right. So I've never drawn leaves like this, but they're really squiggly. Um, so I did the I did the circle that looked like it had hair on the top of it, and then I took a chunk. I used blue, like this bluish purple. And I took out a piece of the blueberry pie. So I, this is like the inside filling. It's a grid. It's just like a checkerboard on the inside. And then I'm trying to do the, the stem. So I did the stem and then a squiggly leaf on the right, squiggly we, we leaf on the left. And that turns into like a, a relatively wide stem at the base. Oh, do you guys think it's a tulip? You know how tulip, <laughs> the the stems of the tulips wrap i mean yeah the the leaves of the tulips wrap around the base of the stem i think that's what it is i think it's one of those uh flowers it may be the only flower in the world that can eat a bug because i see its teeth i think th see its mouth wide open yeah does anyone else see that? I saw that at the very beginning before we even start drawing it. Wow. You did? Mm -hmm. I see that. That's what I see. It turned it turned into like a very scary uh, a very scary flower. No, he's just hungry. He's like smiling. There are plants that eat bugs. No. <laughs> Some plants eat. Is there like a, a fly trap? A Venus fly yeah, trap? Yeah, Venus fly trap. Yeah, Venus fly trap. I've lived with one of them for really two weeks. You did? Well, live staying, I stayed in a house that had one in it. Oh my God. Oh. And That's you, really did interesting. You have to feed it? Did you have to feed it? Yeah, I saw. Did you feed it anything? No, we never fed it. Um, all right. Well, it's 336. Should we try one or two more and then we'll switch over to the penguin? Hi. Jay, um, Nolan, that's a great one. The colors are beautiful. Let's yeah. see that, Nolan. Oh, got it right. Hold that nice and still. Red, red for the mouth. And <laughs> the, for the stem and brown for the head. Yes. Um, okay. 
So this next one was a request by Michaela. Spencer, keep that work. nice and still for me. And thank you. I don't want you guys to panic about the next one. Um, I'm going to start. I'm going to give you a hint. I'm going to start with the grapes in the middle, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So let's try this. The next one is 1188. Let me see. Where's Augsburg? A U G S B U R G, Augsburg. I'm going to say it has to be in Scotland. Scotland, really? No, I'm just guessing. I was thinking. I don't know. I'm Ooh. just taking a, you know, a stab in the dark. Well, let's see if we can get Maddie on the case. Do you know okay. where Augsburg is? England. Uh, a U G S B U R G. It could be England. Oh, Germany. Yeah, it's Germany. It's not Vienna. That nice. I can tell you. Uh, Kristen, was that you? Have you been there? No, I have not, but... Google works. Yep. <laughs> okay, so... And that was my gut reaction anyway. Well, yeah. At, at the very least, ladies and gentlemen, you can have fun making this Tower of Grapes if, in fact, it is... Ooh, wow. So I'm going to start with a string of very evenly, evenly sized grapes. Now, some are big, some are small. I get it, but they're, they're, none are really very big and none are really very small. And basically, I think we have to add a, like a, like a, va like a stem, like a base. We'll add a base to it and then we'll add a crown to it. Yeah, well, you know, Mr. Twist, what they really are? The gold? They're great grapes. They are truly great grapes. They are pretty great. So I'm starting with the center. This is the middle row. And then I'm going to build a section off to the right. And then I can build a section off to the left. And the nice thing about these grapes is that I don't think very many of them overlap. So they're all just next to one another. And so these watermarks that symbolized these different cities, they were, um, they were created with wire, believe it or not. So the, all of these symbols, instead of using lines, they were actually sculpted out of uh, very fine wire. Oh, wow. And that's also why there's not like a you know, overlapping in the way that we normally see things overlapping because they're not, you know, traditional drawings, but they're, I, I just think they're all so beautiful. And like, if you can describe a city without having to use words, if you can communicate a city with a symbol, um, it's pretty interesting. It looks like the bunch of grapes is taller than it is wide. So you want to fill out this bunch of grapes just so that it's taller than it is wide. A bunch of grapes. Yeah, bunches. I did not buy grapes today. I did buy strawberries. I bought asparagus. I bought onions. I bought mushrooms. There's so much good produce. Did you go to mom's? I did go to the mom's organic market. I knew I that. I'm gonna switch colors to a bright orange because I want this crown to be gold. This is going to be a golden crown. And the way the crown is not on anybody's head, but if it did go on the head, you want to think about the headband. So I'm drawing this oval, which would go around the head. And then <laughs> I have got rubies on the brain. So do you see those little circles that are inside the, the, the crown. I'm going to make those red because I'm going to make them red rubies. Wait, what is this a symbol of? Um, Augsburg. Augsburg? Augsburg, Germany. Okay. And it's, uh, I think it's A-U-G-S. Mm -hmm. A-U-G-S-B-U-R-G, not E-R-G. Okay, so I'm just going to fill in those circles red. I might as well. And then those rubies have to be held into place by more gold. So put a row of gold at the top. 
<clears throat> yeah, and gold is more yellow than orange, but it's like a yellow orange. And the orange is gonna show up better on the screen. So even though it's like kind of not the right color, I'm gonna be okay with it. You're doing it anyway. That's You're going for it. Is your crown looking that good? My crown? And then after this, I promise we will draw the, we will, pro uh, well, we'll do one more and then we'll draw the penguin. Jeez. <clears throat> uh, this is not easy. All right, so I'm just gonna make this look like a bird or something. So it's got a, a wing on the left, a wing on the right, and then it'll be like a bird's head and then a beak. Do you believe me? That's what I used. I was like wing on the right, wing on the left, a head and then a beak. I, I don't know if that, I mean, I, I've tried. It looks like it like works enough for me. Pay for the go that high. It doesn't go that high, it's too big. But I mean, I mean, the bigger your crown is, the more gold. So that might be better. And for the right side, I'm gonna try and do, I'm just gonna make it up. One, two, three. Whoa, crazy. One, two, three, and it comes back in. So I made up the, I, the side of my crown, I made it up. And I do not have to make up. Don't forget the base. I yeah, won't, you must not forget the base. The base is in like, I think four parts, but um, have you ever seen the inside of a light bulb? Like how there's a spiral coil, especially old fashioned light bulbs. You can actually buy old fashioned light bulbs. The reason I bring it up is that I'm gonna imagine that I've got a, an old fashioned coil. So the cloth part is gonna spin up to the top on the left, spin down to the right, spirals down to the left. And then I can add my red dot. I don't know. And then we'll do a little cross at the top. Blink. I'll make it a purple cross. At least it matches my grapes. Is anyone else finding this challenging? I am. Not at all. I didn't know. No. Okay. I was I, just wondering I, if I was not alone. Well, I used orange, so now I can color it in uh, yellow and it should look like gold. Yes. I got lucky on that one. Even on the computer, it looks like gold. It does, right? All right, let me see if I can write Augsburg. Yellow or tree? Is this look good? Yellow or tree? Let me take a look. Uh, it looks good. It's showing up darker. Yeah, it's a sli- okay, yeah. I don't see any ones. Yeah, it looks like the right gold. I would do that. Who is showing? I'm using a gold pencil. Uh, well, a gold marker. Yeah. I have, I used gold, I used gold oil paint the other day on this welcome sign and it looked so good. <clears throat> okay, so if my drawing is gonna fit on here, um, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna try and get out of, uh, I'm gonna try and make my drawing easier and make it smaller. So um, I'm gonna use orange again. So the way I drew the crown, I'm gonna draw the base the same way because I want it to be gold. So I'm gonna do a little neck here. So it's like the base of my grapes. That's what I'm starting to do. Good. That's what I'm doing. I'm done. Uh, and then I'm gonna do the neck where it pinches in. And then I can't do much more. So I'm gonna, nice I'm, gonna make the base. I'm gonna make Transfer. the base immediately. <laughs> nice. So, so, so you have happy grapes. Nice. Yeah, that's fantastic. Hold on one sec. There was... Oh, one since sec, it, Kayla. Since the crown is, was a crown and it was on top of grapes, I made the grapes into a head.
Thank you, Michaela. That's beautiful. Those yeah, these are lovely. Oh, yes. Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, all right, so I did my orange lines. And again, like I said, I made the base a little smaller, like wider, and but shorter. So it might be the same amount of gold. It's just going to be wider. So then I'll add the yellow on top. And I have something that I would call beautiful. Maybe I'll do a thin layer of, uh, of reddish purple for the grapes. Yes. I don't have enough room to do those curly things. Neither do I. Leave it out. I I and so I just left my left them out of mine. Well, you just have, you have to remember this is your this is your own drawing, so you can do whatever. You can change it however you want. Um, sometimes you change things because you think it looks better. Other times you change things on a necessity because you have no more paper. Like I have to change my base because it doesn't fit on the screen. So I can, and I also, I also changed um, my crown, not because I had to, but because I thought it looked better. So I made my crown bigger and bolder because I, that's what I wanted. And you can always maintain that independence. And so sometimes you're forced into change. Other times you do it on purpose and you control the change. Change is inevitable. You know, it's not gonna be exact. So um, just make it the best it can be. There's my Augsburg. Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a flare on the letters too. That's fun. I could have been- uh, Color in my- I need to remember to sharpen my pencils. More rubies. All right, y'all, one more. <clears throat> um, do, does anyone want to, oh, yeah. hold that nice and still, Spencer. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Soon. Anyone else? I didn't, I didn't show mine. Okay, well, I'm ready to see it. I would uh, really like that. This is what mine looks like. I, I couldn't mine far too high wow that's far i like um so before i was there's so there's a couple other ones i wanted to try but i think i think it's good to try another crown one because can i show you can i show you guys yeah of course who is that i couldn't i couldn't yeah brooks is that you can you guys draw something else hold it nice and still jacob okay you guys want to draw, want to draw the penguin do I draw yeah, sure. Jacob, well done. <laughs> and I, I like your lettering, Jacob. Let's do a penguin symbol. Okay, so maybe we should do, I'll show you a picture of a real penguin and then we can try to change it into the symbol, like, like a wire symbol like you were just drawing. Okay. Brooks, did you want to show anything? No. Did I miss it? Okay. I just wanted to make sure I didn't. Bad. Maybe you can combine a, one of the symbols and the penguin. Let's give it a That's try. That's an idea. Oh my goodness. How cute is that penguin? That's cute. Spencer, do you recognize that thing? I think I might. <laughs> All right. I just went to the zoo and it looks like that's the exact same building that I saw the penguin in. No, yeah, it's the same one. Your mom sent me the picture. <laughs> I was like, uh, that's a perfect lesson. So, I, so I've been looking forward to it. Okay, what colors do we make it black? Like black and white or should I go blue? Black. All right, I, like, I, I, can, I don't even know if I have a black pencil. So let me just do a quick review. You guys can get started while I look for my pencil. Um, but we've got the, you know, the bird, this is a, is a bird, it's a penguin. So birds are kind of almost like built sort of like fish in a way. Um, so we have this like very aerodynamic head, which looks like it's an oval to me. Then he's got an eye that looks like a seed, you know, or a football, like a little football. 
And then he's got this little beak, which is so cute. There's an upper beak and a lower beak. You can't really tell necessarily, but there's a beak, there's a head. Um, this is the thing that I think everybody leaves out when they start drawing uh, penguins is that because the he's so insulated and there's so many feathers and he's like got this, you know, they're fast, but they're still like insulated with blubber. Like the neck looks like it turns right into the body. But look at this, the neck is actually really long. Birds have long necks. So his short, see this little collar right here? That is where the neck meets the body. So the head ends up here with this black line and then the neck, the head ends here and then the neck is this whole white section. And then finally you get into this corner. So you can't draw a penguin without doing his neck, especially this type of penguin. And then, and then the other thing is that they make the body run right into the legs. And yes, the, the rib cage is big and wide. And yes, the legs are flat, but you can actually see that the belly, like this is the rib cage, which is different than the belly. The legs come out of the belly. Anyway, he's got these wings that aren't really wings. They're actually fins. I mean, they're technically wings, don't get me wrong. They are wings, but the way they, their shape and the way that they function has nothing to do with flying in the air. It has to do with swimming in the water. So That's why they can't fly. They can't fly, exactly. But they can swim like you can't even believe these things swim so fast. They're so efficient. Um, they're just beautiful to see. I mean, they are darts in the water. I mean, they're very clumsy on land and they like go slow, but man, when they go in the water, they can maneuver like you can't even believe. And the, what allows them to maneuver in the water is the same thing that allows birds to maneuver in the sky, which is their wings. And, and their wings are kind of more shaped like fins than even that. Um, and then the beautiful um, triangle, uh, these triangle toes, big one in the middle, flanked with two sides, just like a chicken. Big toe, but they're webbed and they're bigger. And they function um, almost like, uh, like like duck, um, you know, they're like, you know, they're webbed like duck's feet. Okay, I'm a little nervous, but I think I'm gonna pull myself together here. Thank you. All I have to do is find either a dark blue or a black. Pretty dark blue. Okay, here comes the penguin people. Um, he's got this beautiful round head. And then He's got a kind of an arced, look at that arced, uh, oh no, I just hit the wrong button. Please stay. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got a chat. Okay, cool. There, Spence, it does work. <clears throat> okay, now we've got it, and I hate to bring this up, but honestly, I think the beak looks like a shark fin. You know, so if I go like this, the shark fin here, and then it gets flattened out that way. And then I can pull this back up into the eye. Woo. I'm just trying to come up with a symbol. So I'm not actually drawing, I am drawing, drawing the penguin, but I am thinking about it as if it were an outlined thing that I could color in. So we'll do a neck here, and then a little neck on that side. Oh, nice. And then we're gonna get a long belly into his feet. One, two, three. One, two, three. Does he have a tail? Uh -huh. um, Spencer, when you were there, did he have a tail? Do you yes. Is it big? No. Okay. It's basically just a little bump at the back of him. Uh, I'm gonna give him a tail. And then we'll run up his back this way. Whoa. Very, very silhouette heavy. I don't usually make drawings like this, but since we were making all those line drawings before, it seems to work. All right, I'm gonna do this fin shoulder to elbow, elbow to wrist, and then a little wing tip. <laughs> I love it. And then we can do a little wing tip on this side. Oh. 
Oh. How's that? My drawing looks like a female penguin. It does? That's great. Let's do that. Hold that nice and steady. Did you say it looks like a female penguin? Mm -hmm. Huh. You know how Jacob, how about yours? Did you start to hold that up? Okay. Wow. It's a sunny day, right? Wow. Well, I got to sharpen my, I found the black pencil, by the way. Great. These are great, Spencer. Terrific. I love the blue on that. I have a blue eye. Mine has a blue eye. So, um, Mr. Nichols, check this out. Um, I like the beak. The I like the orange beak. Um, I can nice. see, you see the top of his head. Oh, I said Spencer, but I the meant Mr. Nichols. The the very top of your very top of this guy's head. He's got a um, black feathers as well. So, okay. The rest of the the rest of it, the rest of the placement of those feathers looks pretty good. Um, and then I got the eye. I got this. It looks like a, uh, a semicircle on the side of his face. I'm gonna make this guy's beak black, just because that's what I'm looking at. I made a sculpture of a. Um, my my penguin's eye is blue. Yeah, I like that too. So it looks like he's got um, a black head, a black back, a black tail, black fins, black feet, and then he's got a white stripe going down the side of his head that goes into his neck, and then his whole belly is um, is white. So I'm just going to shade the black, the back of his back, which is black. I'm going to make his tail black. I'm going to make his feet black with some white stripes. But I got to save, I got to save the front of his belly. Two oh, more minutes. He's got spots. No, he's got spots. All right. Sorry, Jacob. What's up? Two more minutes. That's it. Jacob, One. thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so I was checking out one, I, I, I didn't see this before, but he's got spots on his belly. And not only that, he also has a pattern. If you look at the outside of his wing, the part Trevor, of the wing. Trevor, also uh, he has two spots on his head. Yes, he does. One here and one there. And actually there's like some spots at the edge because the this patches are a little bit more jagged. Um, but the outside of his wing is, is like almost completely black. But if you look at the far side, look at the pattern that's on the, he's got like a, almost like a zigzag pattern on the inside of his wing, which I had not noticed. So sometimes when you, little wing. when you draw things and you don't like it, even if the drawing doesn't turn out well, at least you learn, you see things that you didn't see. Before. Can you take a picture of mine? Yeah. Oh, I didn't take a picture yet. Let's see. Spencer, hold that nice and still. I like the feet and I like that blue. Mr. Nichols, nice and still. I like that blue eye. It's, it's four o'clock. Can we make this a symbol for Antarctica? Uh, Michaela, would you like to hold that up once again? Trevor, it's four o'clock. Okay. Yeah, we're a we're, little closer to uh, you. Yeah, Nichols. Nice. Nichols, that, nice. Uh, the head looks way better. And you might continue that. You might continue that black stripe all the way down his back into his tail. If you follow that stripe all the way down his back end. And then it finishes off in the Jacob, is there anything that you care to share? I made this guy a little wider. I'm going to try to uh, draw a crown. 
Um, Mr. Messick, can I see your, can I see your, your sketch? Yeah. Oh, Brooks, hold that up again, please. Um, yeah. And I just, you just, just have to finish it. That's all. Awesome. Very nice. And Spencer, hold that a little bit closer to you, Spencer. Yep, I got it. Nice. I'm I'm going to go look for a a Pokemon name on my mom's phone. Okay, yeah, go for okay. it. Okay. Class is over though, um, Nolan. So I have an idea. Can I see your picture? Can we draw Charizard? Yeah, I mean, maybe next week. A little closer. That looks good. From what I can see, it's it's a little off to the side, but um, Charizard. That Next yeah. Question. Um, C H A R I. Like just the like char. Yeah. And then I. I Z A R D. Okay, any other requests for next week? I might be able to help. I have another request. Yep, I have it written down. What about you? My request is drawing a cartoon human. A cartoon human? Well, yeah, uh, can we, next week, can we draw Siren Head or Cartoon Cat? I'm going to draw Ash. Siren Head, Siren Head. Ash from Pokemon. Okay. Sure, yeah, Ash. I'll look into you, it. Can we do Siren Head next week? I mean, I'll look at it. I think so. I have it written down. I'll check it. I'll look into it. It's really as scary. As, as long as it's not scary and it's appropriate. Um, Which guys, this was so much fun. I mean, it is really scary. I appreciate it. This was all the wonderful. Really Mr. Twist, thank you, thank you. Hey, Stacy, you're welcome. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right, I got class next. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.